Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell, and today we actually have quite a bit of Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey news to get into. So let's just jump right to the stories. Okay, another set of photos of Taylor and Travis on their Bahamas vacation have been released. We now have articles being written um, with these photos. I will actually drop a link to the photos in the description of this video. So if you haven't seen them yet, you can go to that link and you can see these photos, but they are of Taylor and Travis on what seems to be like a dock or something, getting ready to get onto a boat, holding hands, while they were on vacation, Taylor has this really cute, um, like white pair of shorts and this cute tank top. She's got her trusty, what seems to be polo hat. She's worn this hat quite a few times. Travis has got his swim trunks on his white t-shirt. They are ready for a day on the water. I'm not sure if this was the same day as the, um, as the photos that we saw earlier this week of them, like on the beach and, and in the water. It seems like it maybe the same day. Um, so yeah, some, some more insight into, into their, their trip, some very sweet, cute photos of them. Again, sort of interesting that it's taken a while for the, um, the photos to come out. Like they've been back in the States for a while now, at least almost a week. Um, but again, still fun to see and nice that we're only seeing them after the fact and not seeing them actually while they were on vacation. We have a bit of a correction from an episode that we did, I believe it was yesterday, talking about Taylor and Travis shutting down the dog pound gym in Los Angeles and supposedly kicking out all the people that were in the gym and making them wait outside of the gym. That apparently was not true. So dog pound, the gym itself actually came out and said, that isn't true. Taylor and Travis didn't come and just kick everybody out. That story is false. Um, so no need to worry about whether or not Taylor or Travis uh, did the wrong thing by kicking people out of, of the gym. It sounds like that was not true. Um, and it honestly it doesn't really sound like them. Neither one of them seem to be people who like expect other people to get out of their way just because. Like obviously there's a level of security that especially Taylor needs in order to be safe, but I don't feel like they're people who want to make a bunch of other people have to change what they're doing just for them, if that makes sense. Um, speaking of the Bahamas vacation and the photos of Travis on the beach, Travis, on his episode that dropped today of, of his podcast, New Heights, with his brother Jason Kelsey, he joked about having a dad bod, specifically having the same body type as his older brother, Jason Kelsey. Not that anyone was really commenting on Travis's body, but he he was joking about it on the podcast and basically said, it's the off season, so I look a little different than I do when I'm in season. So in the episode, they had on um, New Eagles player Saquon Barkley to come in and and obviously Jason, who's just retired, he he played for the Eagles for his throughout his career. Um, but they had Saquon on to um to just talk about his his move to the Eagles and all of that. And in the conversation, he asked Jason and Travis um, which of them would win in a drinking contest. And Jason said, quote, I can definitely drink more volume. I don't even think that's a question. And then Travis said, because Jason has retired, he can afford to lose a little bit of weight because if you don't know anything about football, Jason Kelsey played center and you have to put on a lot of weight and carry a lot of weight in order to be a successful center. And typically when those players retire, they actually tend to lose weight because it's actually harder for them to keep on that weight than to lose it. So Travis then said, you're already down to 260. And then Jason said that he was actually, he's, he's actually 283 pounds, which then led Travis to say, quote, we're in the same weight class now. It's March. We are in the same weight class. So Travis is uh, enjoying his life, to say the least. He's definitely, I mean, I feel like he's still an active guy. Obviously, we just talked about them going to the gym. Like, I don't think he's just like eating whatever he wants and just completely being a slob on the couch. But this is the time if, of his year where he can actually like kind of let him let himself enjoy food, enjoy his life, not worry so much about 
having to be in like the perfect pristine shape. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I don't think Travis and Jason are the same weight. Um, even though Travis is quite a bit taller than Jason or at least like two or three inches taller than, than him. But I think Jason, I mean, he only just retired. So I think they probably will be the same weight sooner rather than later. Um, speaking of the new heights episode today, Jason also poked a little fun at uh, how when you when you say things on new heights, when you speak things into existence on new heights, good things happen. AKA Travis speaking about Taylor Swift and talking about wanting to give her a friendship bracelet, and then boom, a mere few weeks later dating Taylor Swift. So this is what happened. So I mentioned Saquon Barkley was on the podcast this this week, and he was talking about how he wants to be in a boxing movie someday. Um, and Jason said, quote, you just have to throw it out there. Stuff happens when it goes out on new heights. Speak it into existence. And you know what? That should be a lesson for us all, that when we want something in our life, whatever it may be, We should speak it into existence and just say it because you never know what might happen if you just put your thoughts into words and you put it out there into the universe. So if you want heiress tour tickets, say it, speak it out there. Maybe you'll find yourself with new heiress tour (laughs) tour tickets or some somehow, some way they will come to you. If you, you know, want to meet a specific celebrity, like put it out there. You just, you never know. That's, that's the power of manifestation people. Say what you want. Um, and then our final news story of the day, a little bit of a, um, I don't know, it's it's a follow-up to a story we talked about, gosh, probably like over a month ago now at this point, a little over a month ago. So for those who don't remember, Taylor's father, Scott Swift, was in this alleged altercation with a paparazzi um, back when Taylor was performing in Australia. There was a bit of a situation that, happened and he was accused of assaulting this photographer. Well, as it turns out, he will not be facing any charges as it relates to that incident that took place again, like I said, about six weeks ago now. At this point, um, a spokesperson for the New South Wales Police Force told Entertainment Weekly that, quote, um, that that they had conducted an investigation following a report of an of an assault at Neutral Bay Wharf um, on February 27th. So I guess it was almost, it was exactly a month ago. Um, And that no further police action would be taken. So nothing to worry for Scott Swift. Even at the time, I thought this is reaching. I I think this photographer was trying to uh, make a mountain out of a molehill. I'm not exactly sure that it was worthy of taking it to the police, but Scott Swift, he he can just continue to go on with his life, not have to worry about that situation, which I'm sure is a relief for him and for Taylor. Um, and I just think going forward, especially when it pertains to paparazzi, like there just has to be better rules in place because sometimes it is just so invasive. They can be so aggressive and it's just, it can be kind of icky to be honest. So that is it for your Taylor Swift news updates of the day. Kind of a lot to to talk about and go through. Um, Please let me know your thoughts on any of the stories we talked about today. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.